confirmation. This is what will happen when you meet your kingdom spouse. This is a confirmation to you that this is your kingdom spouse. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you for clicking on my video. This is Pastor Honoring. I want to share this confirmation tips with you. When you see these tips, you know, when you see these signs, actually, you know that indeed you have met the one. And this is coming to us from Ruth chapter 2, from verse 5 to verse 10. The Bible says, Boaz asked the overseer of the harvesters, who does that young woman belong to? And the overseer replied, she is the Moabite who came back from Moab with Naomi. She said, please let me glean and gather among the sheaves behind the harvesters. She came into the field and she has remained here from morning till now except for the short rest in the shelter. The first thing that happens when you meet your kingdom spouse is that they take note of you or you take note of them. Considering that I'm talking to male and female, they take note of you, they pay attention to you or you pay attention to them. So the moment as Boaz, the moment Boaz stepped into the field, the first thing that happens is that he notices that Ruth is there and tries to inquire to know who that is. This is where everything begins. That's the beginning. Had it been Boaz never noticed that Ruth was there in the first place, that would have been it. He, he could have come there spoken to the harvesters and left without even noticing that Ruth was there. We would never have been talking about the story. It would have ended there and then. But the first thing that happens is that they take note of you. They are ah, something about you gets his attention or something about her gets your attention. So Boaz said to Ruth, my daughter, listen to me. Don't go and glen in another field and don't go away from here. The second thing that happens is that he wants to see you again. He wants to create a scenario where he will be able to see you again. He wants to create a scenario where that encounter can be over and over. He says, don't go anywhere. Keep coming here. This is an opportunity that we can get to see again and again. There is an opportunity. That's why he will want to take, get your number so that we can get to communicate. Or he asks, do you, are you always here at this time? And if you say yes, you realize that you start meeting up. You start bumping into him more often in that particular place. He's intentional. He wants to see you again. When you find your kingdom spouse, he would want to see you again. And then stay. He says, stay here with the women who work for me. Watch the field where the men are harvesting and follow alongside after the women. He wants to provide for you. He wants to Somehow he wants you to be comfortable. He wants to provide for you. The first thing that happens when you see the person that picks this interest is that they want to favor you. They want to show you favor of some sort. They might not even understand why they are doing that at that particular point in time. They might not understand why they feel the need to show you that kindness, to show you that favor. They, they might not understand why they feel the need to favor you. But it is because God has put it, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor. When you, there, there is that favor in the atmosphere already when you meet the right person there is that favor in the atmosphere so it begins to yearn for expression there was 
So first thing is that he picks, he notices you. And then the second thing, he wants to create an opportunity to see you again. And then you realize that he wants to provide for you. Here, you all of a sudden, you want to pay for the groceries that you bought. He says, no, don't bother. I'll handle that for you. He wants to. He wants to, uh, someone is listening to me right now and you are the one, the lady who has been paying for the guys. Ah, that, that is reversed. <laughs> but there is, there is this need that like he wants to meet your need somehow. He wants you more comfortable. He wants you more comfortable. For the man, it is mostly in giving and in providing. For the woman, if if I'm if if you are watching me and you are a man, for the and and you meet to know that okay, this woman is the one. You realize that they pay special attention to you and they want you to be comfortable somehow. They might not be giving you a gift immediately. They might, but they they might not. Women are not in wired to be instantaneous giver they might give over time when they but when the woman just meets you for the first time except it is prompted in her heart by god what she's expecting is more we are receivers we are not givers but we we we, we might not give physical things but you realize that she gives time and if she sees that you Maybe in the course of talking, you mentioned that you are troubled or something. She wants you comfortable. She wants to encourage you. She wants to comfort you. She wants you out of that difficult situation. She wants to give you suggestions as to how you can get. That is still giving. That is giving, making sure that she, 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 she gets you comfortable. And then the, the other thing that he says, I have told the men not to lay a hand on you and whenever you are thirsty go and get a drink from the water jars and the man and the that the men filled so the next thing is that he protects you he protect he says i've warned the men that no one should lay their hands on you who is this man that just met me and is protecting me is watching over me, doesn't want any harm to befall me. These are all signs. And then guess what he says? When even if you are thirsty, that is still making her comfortable. Doesn't want her to go hungry. Doesn't want her to be thirsty. And then we realize eventually later that day when it was time to eat, he called her, gave her his own food and gave she ate until she had more than enough. He was generous towards her. These are signs that you've met your boas or that you've met your root. These are signs most, most likely that you've met your kingdom spouse. Someone has been looking for a confirmation. Right here you have it. You have it. But let me pray for you. As you watch this video, God is connecting you to your boas in the mighty name of Jesus. God is connecting you to your kingdom spouse in the mighty name of Jesus. God is connecting you, someone, before this month comes to an end. You are meeting someone and the presence of this person in your life will turn things around for good in the name of Jesus. Someone, by reason of you stumbling on this video, you will meet someone and your life will change in the name of Jesus. God is sending you your kingdom spouse. God is sending you your own boys in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. The Lord bless you. And if you are believing God for marriage and feel led to meet someone that has all these criteria or you've already met them and you'd feel and you feel led to just drop an offering or to just connect just check the description box for the cash up or paypal the lord bless you or you can just hit on that super thanks the lord bless you abundantly in jesus name amen